Okay, it's beard o'clock on Real Aircraft Bay. I'm joined by Chris Lady, Real Indian 140, and we are out in Cardiff Discount Supermarket. Yeah, uh, got discount some, drinks. There's some beer behind us. You can see it there. Um, see if you can pick out the labels and tell us what your favourite is. Yeah, look at all that beer. Yes. More it's importantly, yeah, the beer. <laughs> I've got a beer. Um, it's Hell and Verdumnus. Hell and Damnation. Hell and Damnation. In English. 10% extra strong beer. 102 EBUs. It's uh, Imperial uh, Russian Stout. So as far as I understand, Imperial yeah. Stoutish. It says Imperial so Stoutish. I'm guessing there's going to be a bit of a hit of the hops with the EBU rates in there. Lovely. So it's going to be a nice twisty one. Enjoy within 25 years. So I'll give you a glass. Mm. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Show you the bottle cap. Smoke on the opening. Gotcha. Nice coffee head. There. Looking good. Smell that from here. It smells fantastic. I'm gonna dump it all into the glass. Okay, so it's created. My glass has created a a very small one finger head. Yeah, mine's dissipated already. Sorry, I forgot to mention it's from the De Molen Brewery, obviously. De Molen, yeah, yeah. De Molen, De Molen, yeah. Whichever you say. <laughs> Depends if you're Dutch or not, I suppose. <laughs> I always struggle with these, uh, mm. these beers. Oh, wow, just a whiff of that from yeah. here. But beer in the glass, then, jet black, a little bit of little bit of light Coffee. kind of bleeding through. Coffee ish head, I'd say, as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, yeah, it's dissipates quite quickly. Mine has, certainly. It's a lovely, lovely looking beer. I've got to get my nose into this one. It smells fabulous. Cheers. Oh yes, ooh, the coffee, um, just really kind of, and then it's a, it's a, a, a more of a kind of breakfasty kind of when you have your coffee, and it's a posh coffee, and you know it's not nice yeah. kind of you know Jamaican blue mountain beans or whatever. It's, it's not yeah. just a, it's not just Nescafe bunged in your beer. It's just, oh no, this is the good stuff. It's big and roasty as well. Loads of roasted malt. And you're getting the hops. Hops, yes, a nice hoppy beer, chocolate. I'm ready to dive in. Such a vanilla on the ready? back of it as well, possibly. Yeah, vanilla, like a vanilla bean, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Let's let's die a can wait anymore. Okay. Thirsty. <laughs> to Cheers. Oh. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Mouthfeel, wonderful. It's, it's, it's like um, it's like you've sucked on a Kinder bar. Yeah. Um, and you just it's kind of coated your entire mouth in that's chocolatey the, goodness. That's the best description of how a big, thick, milky kind of chocolatey mouthfeel should be. You've just sucked on a Kinder bar. That is a great description of what we are feeling. Moving on then to the flavours. It's whacking, isn't it? It's you get that. The hops are really subtle. I mean, they they just kind of build, and you actually left with them right on the back. But you get that milky, creamy, thick, roasted, powerful kind of thing. The alcohol, mm. not so much. I mean, you know, I'm no. not getting a, a, a burn of ten percent alcohol. No, and that's important. Um, this is drinking like a six, seven percent stout. It's ten percent. Yeah. But the bitterness I'm finding fantastic. It's a mixture of a roasted malty bitterness and the hops. Yeah. Yes, yes, and that's the key here. It, it's very well balanced. It's uh, you're not getting knocked over by any of these huge things that are going on because they've they might all the levels might be up here, off the yeah. top of the camera somewhere, but actually they're all roughly the same. So you're not you're not being overpowered just by oh this is just taste of coffee or this just taste of bacon. You know, yeah. Yeah. You're getting a lovely classy kind of taste of each. Component. It's wonderful. It, it smells a little. You pick up a little bit of the alcohol in those, but you, you kind of. That's just a kind of a. You want that as well. You want that aspect. It's warming as well. It's a bit warm going so down. Bloody good. Yeah, such a good beer. I'm gonna have to buy a couple of these now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's cold out there. It's warm in here. It's warm in here. Mm. And that is what beer does to you. And this, it is stout season. It's, it's more or less winter. It's yeah. cold. My hands are cold, but I'm being warm from the inside out. Yeah. And I've got a good feeling. 
Yeah. Just generally <laughs> with the world down. Yeah, absolutely. Um, vanilla, yeah. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Um, a little bite of alcohol. Uh, any, any, would you say it's vineness at all, Chris? It's, 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 there's a tiny bit of the kind of, as you'd expect, kind of a Belgian character in there, but nothing, nothing more than a whisper, a suggestion, mm. if you will. It's, um, I don't, I don't think I've had a beer that carries this strength for a while. Um, apart from some of my favourites, which I, you know, I've got in the back of the cupboard that I had to keep that not to open, which is stupid, but I know they're so good and they're like this. This ain't gonna last 25 I, years. I put this up to the top ten of that kind of beer. This mm. cupboard beer that you're gonna want to pull out on a special occasion. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. Rating. Mm. It's a 10, absolutely a 10 wow. this one. It's a fantastic beer, everything I like about Stout. This is the perfect winter occasion beer. I think we finished that, that probably says it all. It's, it's a, sometimes a beer can be a big struggle at 10% to finish, but this is going down like milk. Yeah, milk with it, extra vitamins in it. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's just, Slip down, it's full of flavour, lovely bitterness, loads of fruity, chocolatey, caramel, coffee. There's all sorts going on with a beer. Vanilla, yeah. as Chris mentioned. I'm not getting the damnation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I had two, I probably would. Is that some kind of dandelion? <laughs> <laughs> if I had two of these, I'd probably fall over the curb and damn myself to somewhere. My turn for a rating then. I'm going to join Chris on a whacking 10 out of 10 for this beer. It's fantastic. Um, it's put me in the mood now to, to buy some of this, this, some of these beers behind me. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, 10 out of 10. Thank you to Ali of Cardiff D Discount Supermarket with this range of beer from, from around the world. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.